I'm Robert Fuller, a wildlife artist, and I've just seen the most dramatic moment on my cameras, and I want to share it with you. There'd been a lot of territorial spats between the tawny owls, the barn owls, and the kestrels, but since the tawny owls had fledged, everything was calming down. The chaos ensued when a new barn owl came into the territory and tried taking shelter in one of the nest boxes. When this barn owl tried landing in Ashton, it got a real fright when it found the kestrel in there. The barn owl soon retreated, allowing the kestrel to settle back down on her eggs. I knew this wasn't one of our usual barn owls because it had a ring on its leg and it's actually one of the chicks I'd run another year. The barn owl flew into Beechton, but unfortunately this is where the tawny owl roosts. The tawny owl saw the barn owl flying into the box and flew in to defend its territory. The tawny owl is bigger and much more powerful than the barn owl. The barn owl managed to slip under the tawny owl's wing, but the tawny owl couldn't resist one final grab as it left the nest box. Barn owls nearly always lose in these encounters, and the only option for this barn owl is to find a way to escape. Hearing all this commotion, the female barn owl left the nest box. But she soon returned to her eggs. The female barn owl was calling out in distress, and the male barn owl came to join her. The male barn owl could see the female was clearly agitated, so he tried mating her to cement their bond, but his advances were rebuffed. Once things were settling down, the male barn owl went to the nest entrance to take a look. The tawny owl flew by, delivering a really hard blow to the barn owl's head. And he fell back into the nest box, calling again. Without us knowing, dramas like these happen across our countryside, but with all our cameras here we can see these dramatic moments unfolding. 